Thank you for watching this video. In this channel, you and I will be reviewing different cars and learn at the same time. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider joining us. If you are a subscriber, please click the like button. Thank you. Hi everybody, this is Ju from Soldier Cars and today I'm in Cherry Tigo 2. I want to thank United Asia Automotive Group Inc. for letting me test drive this one for a couple of days. Now, this car is an affordable small crossover and there are things that I like and I don't like but there are things I like a lot and that's price and also I like the 3 year PMS and 5 years warranty and 10 years warranty on the engine which is an amazing deal if you ask me I mean those deals are good enough for me to buy a Chinese car if I have tight budget I'll be trying to relay those messages my honest feedback to you guys I'll be like doing it like a vlog style uh, instead of me doing it like the detailed review I besides I already have a video on this uh, in the video section below so is this car worth your money let's find out Shijak. today it's my second day with the Tigo 2 and news flash it's raining like crazy well not that crazy but the crazy storm is coming let's see if the Tigo 2 can handle all this rain let's go What I like about the Tigo 2 is that the interior doesn't look cheap at all because of the, the curves and the material they use and the different styles and patterns like here and also here. So definitely you won't feel that you bought a cheap car. But the matter of fact is that it's not so cheap. But it's cheap in a sense that you get more than what you paid for because usually in this price point you just get the aircon, the radio and the car the really nice thing about this air condition is that I usually like putting the aircon direction towards my feet and it's really really cold you know the air is blowing like crazy and uh, I have like sweaty feet but it is a remedy to keep my sweaty feet dry and cool guys this is how cold the aircon is I mean you have moisture already oh my goodness it's really really cold the aircon is so crazy look at that <laughs> the only complaint I have is uh, in this instrument cluster is that it's kind of upside down so normally the zero will start from there but it starts from here then yeah also this one is going the other way so it's kind of you know confusing a bit then you want to like check where your speed is at but it's also a bit difficult because when you go there it's just that uh, we're not used to it it doesn't feel normal I also like the visibility of this car this Tigo 2 has like uh, side repeaters look at this there's actually an LED there it also blinks from this side so it, I also know that it's also blinking like before I tried this car I thought like what is that sticker but it was LED this is a 770,000 pesos SRP car that has cruise control leather steering wheel yeah I want to talk about the suspension now the suspension is uh, not bad I mean 
I have tried cars that are more expensive than this that have worse suspension. I mean, at first I told my wife that the suspension is like, you know, as if I'm in a Mustang sport mode, but uh, well, my, my wife said it's not the sport mode. It's not in that level, but it is still comfortable uh, nevertheless. And uh, there are lots of potholes in my daily drive. I mean, there's really no way to avoid them. You really have to step on some of them. And like when it was raining, of course, it gets all covered and stuff. So I kind of stepped on some of them. It didn't sound like the car was breaking up. I felt that it was assembled in one piece and it was well done. The cabin noise, it's quiet. Except you hear lots of sound from the engine. You really need to like take care of the car. Be careful. You have to treat the car a bit uh, with care because if you kind of stress the engine, the engine will just uh, spin and it will not like bite. The RPM goes up, but it wouldn't add to the speed. The steering wheel, the handle, the handle is not that soft. It's not that hard. It's just perfect where I want it because I like the the hardness, just like the the Fortuner. Yeah, like it's not so light like the Terra. It's not so light. So why? The touch screen is also very nice. I mean, it doesn't look cheap and uh, especially the resolution, it's not so bad. The thing that I want to replace would be... <laughs> it's like that. The sound of the horn is... <laughs> it's like that. <laughs> it's very cute. I also like this area. Yeah, I like things in LED now rather than seeing them in halogen. But I just wish that uh, this button here will illuminate so that like at night time if like if I turn on my light I want this one to illuminate so I will not have difficult time finding it the button itself is black also eh? so yun like that I also like the buttons the buttons here like I also like this one see it blinks together like this one you can find in German cars or European cars and then when you press the buttons you don't feel like they're cheap you feel like uh, they're well made. Even this one. And this one is like unlimited. Like look at this. This is off. First level. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Seventh. <laughs> the seven modes of blower. I also like the quality of the back of camera. And look at this. You see the guided lines? So it's extremely useful when you get used to it. But if you're not used to it, uh, at first you'll be struggling. Well, people, there are people like, uh, who still don't have backup cameras in their cars. But just like uh, from having no backup camera and having a backup camera, having the guided lines will also assist you and help you in your parking experience when you get used to it. So I like this car's uh, back of camera. Look, uh, this we're in the parking space. It's a bit uh, dark here, but it's very bright and it's very fast. Look at this. So from parking, let's say, okay, from neutral, okay, not the fastest in the world, but, and the beeping sound. And you also see actual sensors. You see that? So there are three sensors. They actually show you visually and also you can see it in the backup camera. What I also like about the Tigo 2 is that you have a space here for like uh, expressway ca cards or toll cards or parking ticket. It is actually very handy because it bites and it holds on to it. It doesn't like fall off right away. So that's another good thing I like about this car. However, there's a uh, room for improvement in the the quality of the door itself because when you open the door, it feels like it feels very hollow inside, very light. But there's a look at this. So it kind of stops there. One, then two, then one more, three. So here is where you feel that the car is a bit light, but it can be improved. Some of the features that you can find only in other expensive cars, you can find them here in Tigo 2. 
So there's a reverse camera, there's an 8-inch touchscreen entertainment system. It has safety features such as EBD, ABS, hill hold and hill descent control, driver and passenger airbags. Then we have 16-inch two-tone mag wheels, LED daytime running lights, and we also have rear fog lights. The amazing um, warranty you get for this Cherry Tigo 2 is like 1 million kilometer warranty or 10 years for the engine. General vehicle warranty for 5 years or 150,000 kilometers. That's crazy. And free 3 years of preventive maintenance package. That's amazing. Emergency brake assist, brake override system, brake assist system, emergency signal system, which will uh, work or function as soon as you hold that brake in an instant. So it's going to blink really fast. I haven't tried that yet though. For the sound system, we have four speakers and we have a huge 8-inch LCD touchscreen which is really, 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 really well done. So this car also has a remote window opening function which you can use your key that looks like this. Just hold on to the unlock key and then it's going to open like that. But I haven't found a way to close it remotely. Thank you for watching this video. This was Ju from Soju Cars and Thank you. I want to give a big, big shout out for letting me use this car for five days to United Asia Automotive Group Incorporation. Thank you for the trust and I hope you guys learned something from this. Now, this car is a budget-friendly car packed with features that you can only find in cars over a million pesos. So may your dreams come true, everyone, and good. Bye. Please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Thank you everybody. May your dreams come true.